See you later. And what was that about? Ugh, I don't like augmentations. I don't even know what fucking accent that was that I just faked. But it was certainly not his. I don't like augmentation, so I'm just going to... Hey, credits. Cool. So I'm just going to use a, an augmentation to get out of here. Uh, yeah, that's a really quite short mission. Certainly wasn't a bad one, but... Honestly, I have to say that really should have been packaged with the game in the first place. I mean, on one hand, I kind of like the idea of giving something extra to people that pre-ordered the game as a way to say, Hey, thanks for having faith in us, uh, to the extent that you'd buy the game before it's even finished. Here, have some bonus stuff. You know, I, I like it in that sense, but on the other hand, I having it, uh, you know, either completely inaccessible or... You know, you have to buy it separately if you bought the game at release and waited a few months. I'm not sure I like being, you know, prevented from accessing content in uh, such a way. <clears throat> now to have some extra fun. Huh? Somebody over there? <laughs> that is ridiculous. The, the dude's got an, <clears throat> a, a dart sticking out of his face. And he doesn't notice it. Also, I'm not sure what's up with these lights in this area. Why they're... Well, for one thing, why they're exclusive to this area. I mean, they look like standard lights to me. For another thing, I don't really understand why they're so extra bright and extra bloomy. No, nothing major, just uh, something that seems a bit confusing. Go, 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 go! Jesus Christ. Hey, where's my experience for that? Or did I knock that guy out before? And he just uh, got, you know, brought back to the world of the awake at some point. That, I really hope that is the case. Otherwise, I feel cheated. Let's see, let's see. What the hell? What am I stuck on with this thing? I just want to see if this thing will cast a shadow. That's all. Come on, get out of my way. Yep, it will certainly cast a shadow. <laughs> Definitely seeing a lot more dynamic lighting in this playthrough than I did uh, in my previous... Well, no, the previous ones don't count because I had to gimp the settings because my computer sucked. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot more dynamic lighting than the playthroughs I watched, you know, with, from people that had really good computers at the time that could max it out. Strange. It's a bit strange. So. Okay, let's see about making an exit here. Follow the magic quest marker and just climb out of the sewers. <clears throat> Four AUDs in this area, and I don't think they were really necessary at all, to be honest. Hmm. hmm, so I don't remember. Is this... Is this door just completely inaccessible? If you don't have the pre-order pack installed or does it not exist I'm not entirely sure how they implemented that sort of thing no well, time to 
run back a couple miles and uh, see Tong again. Also, I didn't think I used uh, any of my stuff long enough to uh, use up a battery. <clears throat> I suppose I was mistaken. <laughs> well, I think I think it's safe to assume that nothing is going to happen between here and uh, Tong's hideout <clears throat> because all the uh, all the hostiles are gone. So I'll just make a quick save here, and I will be back when I'm, uh, you know, at the destination. You have talent, Jensen. You ever need a job, you tell me. I'll hook you up. I take it the kid made it back in one piece. He says I owe you a weapon. I always repay my debts. With interest. That's one debt paid. Now tell me what you know. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Hayes and Sue pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. That's a whole lot of maybe, Tong. True. But maybe you lucky more times than I can count. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk, and I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. And this gun is the grenade launcher. Huh. Well, shame I don't have any <clears throat> space to carry it. Let's just throw all these out here and uh, give it a quick look. Blew it. While triggering a story event along the way. I'm just gonna quick load that real quickly, because I wanna, you know, not have to go through the story event a second time. You know, so iron sights. He's invulnerable. I think it's pretty cool. It's actually kind of funny uh, seeing Tong just uh, sit there. You're going all, oh god, don't dare at me, when he's the boss of a crime syndicate or something. Also, while we're at it, let's show off the laser rifle. Learn to shoot. Learn to voice act, more like. You can't escape. Yeah, you can... Wall, uh, wall bang with this. It's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's just quick load that and <clears throat> get my normal layout out. As cool as uh, I think this is, as cool as I think the. Uh... Oh god, you gotta be kidding me. Really, game? Really? Do I do I have to turn on auto inventory management to you, for you not to put stuff into my inventory the stupidest way possible? Fuck's sake. The... Uh, my god! This is ridiculous. They really could have handled this a lot better. God damn it. Okay, now that's... That's still wrong, son of a bitch. There we go. I think that's right. Yeah, they, they both seem like pretty cool weapons, but unfortunately, uh, I just don't have the space. And I'm too committed to this loadout. Because this is... <clears throat> well, it's carried me through the game so far. Probably could do with, uh, selling the sniper rifle, to be honest, but... I don't really feel like taking that much time. So yeah, let's carry on with the story.
，让人进来可是很少见。老板，那个门外，那个老人说你没事儿，这样我就放心了。让人进来可是很少见。Hmm, I was, I was expecting, you know, some conversation to pop up on the info link about it, maybe. Wait, did I just see a vent? No, I didn't. <clears throat> At least not the uh, kind you can travel through. Wait a minute, am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. Just doing away, game. There's a side quest I missed. There's a side quest I still need to do. Um, <clears throat> I clearly haven't triggered it yet, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure doing this next main quest will have put me closer to the point of no return. And uh, obviously I don't want to go there just yet, so... Hmm. I think I'm going to have to walk through it, see if I can find something that says... Oh yeah, this is how you access this uh, side quest. Once again, be back in a minute. Okay, missed the conversation here. It was just them talking about uh, verse of life and shit like that. Uh, so yeah, basically I need to get a level below here and head to the limb clinic. Not for that uh, thing re uh, regarding... Okay, dude, shut up. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, not not for the thing regarding the AUG uh, glitches. What the fuck? Come on, really? But uh, th that's where you pick up these side quests that I was thinking of. Yeah, these are all just bell tower assholes. At least I'm pretty sure they were. I don't know why the uh, first guy didn't uh, give me experience for killing him. You need to stop into the limb clinic to pick up this side quest. And who knows, maybe there are some Praxis kits and uh, other such shit that I could pick up. Because that'd be pretty useful, I think. Run! Yeah, run, fucker. Run! Run! No, really, game, run. Start running a bit more smoothly. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Ah, the lev the layout of the level is just a total pain in the ass, isn't it? Really. <clears throat> of course, I had a perfect. Uh, whoops! I think I can pick that up now. What did I use up to be able to? Uh, I guess I used up a little bit of sniper ammo or something. Anyway, I was right on the perfect, uh, correct level. You know, right along the way to getting there earlier. And I just went off on a tangent, uh, shooting bell tower assholes. Well, either way, Anonymous X is gone. Ha 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 ha. Get out of my way. You know Fuck all you. Fuck lines. I'm gonna go right in. Just gonna make sure I don't get that bullshit chip fix thing. You here for recall? There is problem with the peripheral nerve interface. We fixed with upgraded chip. You want it, yes? No. I'll think about it. Clinic, it's very busy. But if you want something else, we will service you. Yes, I do want something else, like these Praxis kits. And I would also like this other stuff, but I can't well fucking carry it ever. God damn it. Okay, before I devolve into fake rage bullshit that I did two years ago for no good reason. Um, let's activate some stuff. What the hell ever? I've never used this before. Let's just buy it. Why not? Also, I need some space. my health at? Yeah, I can only buy one hypo stim. 
Well, no, I can totally buy both of them, but I can only I can only use one of them. Whatever, I'll just go the hypo stim route. You hear from? No. Oh. Whoops. Help. Wrong button. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just get that help up to the maximum. Excuse me, Mr. Jensen? Yep. I am not mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends. Who's asking? I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. I am being impolite. My name is Wing Hui. I am a doctor here. I can see that. What I really meant to ask is how do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me, for I am a bit nervous. Bell Tower agents were here a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were saying of you, it occurred to me that you might be exactly the person I need. Need for what, exactly? Tread carefully, Doc, because I'm about one step away from losing my patience here. No, please, you misunderstand. I only wish to talk to you about something, and it is not an easy subject to discuss as it is a rather sensitive matter. Truly, Mr. Jensen, I would never force anyone to do something against their will. On that, you have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about then? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. I understand, Doc. You can count on my discretion. I appreciate it, Mr. Jensen. Obviously, you are familiar with Bell Tower and the role they have in this city. What you may not be familiar with, however, is the fact that sometimes they contract limb doctors, like myself, to work in private clinics on special projects. What kind of special projects? What you Americans call black operations. Bell Tower selects some of their best soldiers and make them to be super augmented with experimental, top-secret hardware. Not to sound too jaded, Doc. But none of that comes as a big surprise. Stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes. Your government and mine have both been guilty of this practice, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private corporation. A private army, on sale to the highest bidder. Is this about stopping Bell Tower, then? Because as much as I might hate them right now, I'm only one man. No, no. It is not all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Zelazny. He was implanted with experimental hardware, and to an extent that is way beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations, for the Chinese and... others. Sounds like the type of man you don't want to see going out of control. Precisely. Yet, about a month ago, I have heard rumors that Mr. Zelazny and part of his unit had gone rogue. And two weeks later, a city official was killed in a perfectly staged operation. I am certain it was them. And then, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me himself. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat shop near Pandang Road, in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs, a servo replacement. I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. I'll do what I can. I am sure you are up to the task. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. And if things do turn sour, and he must be terminated, I think you are quite a good candidate to get it done. Or at least survive. So? 
You have found Zelazny? I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. What more can you tell me about this operative, Zelazny? He is American. His father was a Polish immigrant. His files portray him as highly intelligent, calm, and a fine strategist. He is also a religious man. He joined the army when he was 18. Ever since, he has excelled in almost every aspect of his military service. That is why he was selected by Bell Tower for the Special Operatives Project. At the time, the U.S. Army delegated some of its work in counterinsurgency to the PMC. As for the rest, you will have to learn it from him. You seem like a decent man, Dr. Wing. Why did you get involved with something like this? I always act according to my ethics, Mr. Jensen. I love my country. I respect its history, its government, its traditions. Bell Tower is under contract with Heng Sha, so I thought I was doing the honorable thing by being loyal. It is not easy to accept that one's beliefs might have been a fraud. So what exactly am I supposed to do? You should go to Mr. Zelazny's hideout, the back store of the meat shop in the residential district. I can send the coordinates to your Wayfinder augmentation. Once you get there, try to convince him and his men to turn themselves in. If that fails, I'm afraid you might have to put them out of service permanently, for everyone's safety. Okay, that's it for now, Doc.